today we are doing Naya's hair again. And how old are you, Naya? Ten. She's a ten-year-old young lady going. Okay. Great. Okay, so we are doing Naya's hair, and she does a lot of like physical extracurricular activities. So there's some things she cannot have in her hair, like like buns or things on top, beads, that type of thing. So we try to keep it stylish but simple but cute, but it can't have a lot of ornaments in it, or it's going to be hard for her when she does like her flips. Okay, so she's supposed to come up with an idea, and this is what she has. Doo -doo -doo. <laughs> Which is super duper cute. Um, we're gonna have to make some adjustments because obviously she's using her natural hair, and uh, the little girl here did not. Bro, <laughs> you can't eat during my video. All right, so. That is the style that we're going for. So then my question to you is, my dad's gonna ask you before. So open your phone back up. And so the back, kind of on the side, we'll just go back and down. You got that thing in perfect. The side, the front, we were a little worried about because her front is super long here and hers comes from like here all the way down. Not that her hair isn't like that, but because she's gonna have twists and she's a natural hair young lady, we know it's gonna bounce back. <clears throat> she's gonna lose a lot of its length because of the twist that will bounce back. So we're thinking about maybe putting a bang in the front or some pieces in the front and still um, letting the sides go back and down, which I think is a really cool look for it to go back and down. It also has an angle. So we'll discuss uh, whether or not do we really want it to be that way. So this is our base style that we're going off of, again, and we're gonna take that and make it our own. All right, let's get started. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna do is part her hair in half um, horizontally because obviously she's gonna have the bangs and then the back is going to be kind of individuals. Now this is the gel I'm using, it's the Eco Style Gel. It does pretty well with her hair, so we kind of stick with it. And to do her bang, I'm going to give her a triangle part because that's going to make it kind of fringe out on the sides and go down the center as well. And I'm just going to do each section, each two strand twist, um, kind of, and kind of create like a zigzag pattern with them so you kind of see how that will turn out. All right, so I'm just going to section it off and I'm just going to use the mannequin here to show you the top portion of her head of how I did it. So we're using a slanted part, so they're not quite straight because again, I want the bank to fringe and cover like her whole forehead. So I'm just gonna go back and forth. I'm gonna get a little bit of gel and that's about how much I use. And I'm gonna make sure that I coat both edges, the front and the back of the section that I'm working on. And for the sake of this being a mannequin to show you this, usually I will go through the whole section and make sure the whole thing is coated with the gel and kind of brush it or comb it up. So I usually use this brush or you'll also see me use the comb on her hair as well to kind of just evenly spread it all out and make sure that the ends have some gel too so that when they dry, it kind of stays neat the whole way through. It doesn't get frizzy in any section because it didn't have product on it. And I would say the key point too if you're doing twists like this is you want to try to gather sections that are about the same size. So as you're going down you're gathering sections and you want to try to gather about the same size section on each side um, each time you gather hair so that it will look nice and uniformed for you. And Naya's hair is prone to coming undone and unraveling, so she usually has to use some kind of rubber bands to keep her twists in place. So I usually put one at the base of it, and that's enough. I don't have to put one at the bottom, but I kind of just twist all the way down. And again, that would all have gel or the product on it to make it be smooth. So I'm going to speed this up and let you watch how I do the front. 
thank you so much again for watching please don't forget to give me a nice thumbs up if you enjoyed the video don't forget to subscribe so that you can get notifications every time i post and you know i appreciate you watching And like I said, I'm trying to get a zigzag part um, down the middle. So I'm just starting every twist right in front of the twist before. So that's why I'm switching back and forth on each side. So we'll make a zigzag for me when I finish. And then the top of every twist is right in front of the twist that I did right before it. And there you go. So this is what her front looked like. <laughs> you can tell she's already liking it. So I'm off to a good start. All right. And I actually forgot to record the sides, but we did go with slanting them down and kind of making them swoop back a little bit. And then in the back, it was supposed to be individual pieces. Again, the picture she's using has um, somebody who has hair added to it. And since she didn't, we wanted to make her back as full as possible. So instead of just giving her two strand twists regularly without something at the base i just added a rubber band at the base to give the base of it a little bit more volume so it will look a little bit fuller when it's all finished and again i'm going to apply gel to each section and you're going to see me comb the gel all the way through and i'm just going to part them into squares put rubber bands in and go ahead and two strand twist it down And I would also recommend having like a towel or something nearby because when you comb the gel, it starts to come off a little bit and you do want it to be enough so that it actually coats the whole strand that you're working on. So it does start to come off some. And so sometimes I'll put like the extra gel, if you can see it piling up on a comb, I might put it in a section above so that maybe I don't have to add as much there or I will wipe it off um, if needed on like a towel or something so that it's not too much on the comb. And then we're just going to go through each one and twist them all the way down. And because her hair is a little bit wet, it is going to have some curls to it. But it's going to dry. <clears throat> By the time I get to the top, the back will be mostly dried. And that's the thing that I like about gel is that it doesn't take as long to dry. <clears throat> so I know it will hold and it will dry pretty quickly. I just realized she's making faces. <laughs> And just showing you from a different angle here, but yes, the back is pretty simple. Again, don't forget to give me a thumbs up if you enjoy the video. It helps out my channel a lot. When I get nice thumbs ups, then I can promote this video to different audiences, to more audiences. So I appreciate your help. So 
we are done. She looks so cute. Okay, we're done. She looks gorgeous. We are going to take her bangs and scrunch it up. Even though I don't know, it looks cute in the camera right now. Don't you think? It does. But like I really. Okay. So I'm gonna spray it with water and scrunch it up. And then the black I'm going to the black. The bag <laughs> I'm going to blow dry just so that she's not going home with wet hair because it's going to change to more it dries. So I want to try to control some of the changes that it does. So I just dried it a little bit <coughs> before she left and it came out really nice. She liked it. I loved it on her. I loved the bang. I thought it was super cute and a great idea that she had. So I hope that you enjoyed this video. I hope to see you in the next one. I hope everyone um, has a beautiful school year. All of you that are going back to school, be it college or regular school. And until next time, adios.